On Tuesday, we saw crude oil breaking below the lower trend line. Now, is there more downside pressure to come? Is this actually going to be an ABC pattern to the downside? If we measure A to B, B to C, and we project down for D, that would bring us down to about $76.25. Now, if indeed crude oil does come tumbling down, that is going to be favorable for inflation out here. We come over and we look at the economic news calendar. What do we have in store for today? We have new home sales coming in at 10 a.m. The BOC, the Bank of Canada, has their rate statement, their monetary policy. At 10.30 a.m., we have crude oil inventory numbers. Then at 4.30, we have Fed Chair Powell speaks. And there's low liquidity during that time period. Is this going to be a big market moving event where we maybe see a gap in the futures market come 6 p.m. at the open? Or is it going to be a nothing burger? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Now, recently, we've been seeing gold have a little bit of problems up here. Gold essentially came down and was able to hit the point of control. Are we going to melt down towards the 38% Fibonacci retracement? We jump over and we take a look at the Russell 2000. And what do we have? Well, we had an inverted hammer on Monday. On Tuesday, we have a doji. Can we make it up into this magnet zone? If the Russell 2000 can find the bottom here, a tradable bounce, that is going to favor the, favor the equities markets as well. Now, as we come over, we look at the QQQs. We can see down here at the bottom, we have MACD divergence. We had a swing low right over here. The MACD indicator was much lower than when we came down and we actually broke that low. This is signaling that we could potentially get a bounce in the market. Now, if indeed we are going to bounce up higher, keep in mind, we have a high probability target at about 361.84. I'll show you guys here in a minute, minute where that actually comes from. Also, we wanna pull a Fibonacci retracement, swing high all the way down here to the swing low. Now, the normally we'll get at least a 50 or a 61.8 Fibonacci level. So there is more room to the upside. There's even more room above that high probability target. Next, we jump over and look at the four hour chart. What do we have there? Well, we have MACD divergence on the four hour chart as well. We're trying to get a lift in the markets. Are we going to come back down one more time and revisit this zone? Or, or is that all that she wrote? On the one hour chart, we can see the MACD indicator is crossed to the bullish side. However, it's going to be imperative that we break above this resistance level if indeed we're going to find any positive footing. Because if the MACD indicator gets towards the zero line and we're still consolidating at these lower levels, that could basically open the door for another leg lower in the market. Next, we come over and we look at the 30 minute volume profile levels. And keep in mind, we have an ABC pattern intact. However, I want to warn you guys on this. If we take out to the downside 354.84, that's going to negate the ABC pattern, which completes up here at 362.91. Now, that high probability target that we spoke about a little bit ago really comes from that untested value area low back from last week. Now, at some point, we're likely going to test that level. And if indeed this ABC pattern does come to completion, that would be enough to also take out that very high probability target as well. So we want to be well aware of that. Now we do have a good separation of the MACD indicator lines and they are trying to, you know, breach above the zero line. Are we going to get further momentum push? Is there going to be a short squeeze in the market today or is it going to be a bull trap? Now we come over and look at the volume profile levels. Value area high is going to be 359.48. The point of control is right next to it at 359.31 and value area low will come in at 357.77. So how do I want to play this? Well, one, if we break above value area high, I most certainly want to play for those two high probability targets that we spoke about, the ABC pattern at 362.91 and also the one before that about 362.04. However, if we break, break above value area high and we start coming down, then I want to look for the rotation back down towards value area low. Then we start breaking that. I'm looking for the market to come all the way back down towards this magnet zone, which the top of is about 354.29, all the way down here to about 351.34. Now, as we come over and we look at the SPY, what do we have in store? Well, starting off with the MACD indicator, we can see we have divergence trying to play out. This is normally a bullish scenario for the market. Is this time going to be different? Well, we're going to have to wait and find out. So far, we're trying to fend off this double bottom pattern. If indeed this ends up being a double bottom and we take out the top of the swing point over here, about 438.32, that's basically probably going to push us all the way back up here towards the highs. And if we measure this out real quick and we go ahead and say, okay, how high will we actually go? And we can see that would take us all the way back up towards the highs of 2023, filling the Fitch downgrade gap. So we most certainly want to keep an eye on that. However, if we start flushing lower, we start breaking critical volume profile levels then keep in mind to the downside, we have a high volume area on the composite, anywhere from about 412 to about 411. 
we have an ABC pattern down here at 406.85. The ABC pattern has been confirmed as we have broken past the B point. Now, if we break back above this um, the swing point up here, that would invalidate this pattern. And what I mean by that is it would end up being a busted pattern. Not every pattern is gonna play out to completion. I wanna remind you, Apex is having a 71% sale off all their valuation accounts and 50% off any reset fees. If you wanna take advantage of this offer, use the link in the description box down below. And don't forget to use the promo code Mike at checkout. But what I will tell you is the more time we spend below this rising lower trend line, then the more ominous this is gonna look because as we start to rally up, could this just be nothing more than a retest of that trend line? And then we're going to resume and start going lower. However, I am favoring looking for the gap to be filled over here as a lot of participants in the market right now are extremely bearish. We look at this on the four hour chart. What do we have in store? Well, we can see on the four hour chart, we have major, major MACD divergence. We can clearly see the low in the MACD indicator over here is much higher than down towards the swing points over here. That again is leading to the case that we could get some type of bounce in the market. On the one hour chart, what do we have? We have the a bullish cross at the MACD indicator. However, we must break above this consolidation level. If not, the MACD indicator drifts towards the zero line and then we start heading back lower would be my fear. On the 30 minute chart, what do we have in store? We have the ABC pattern, which completes up here at 426.97. We also have an untested POC at 426.83. And we look at the volume profile levels we'll be using. Value area high will come in at 424.20. The point of control is right below that at 424.10. And value area low will be down here at 422.69. Now, if we can break above value area high and we stay above it, I most certainly want to look for higher prices. I want to target the ABC pattern completion that we have up here. However, if we start breaking below value area low, then I'm looking for the market to auction back in this minus development area, which really starts all the way from about 420 all the way down here to about 417.80. So be on the lookout for that. Also, if we break above value area high and then we start coming back down, then I want to look for the rotation down. I also would then want to be on the sell side of the market. Now, as we come over here and we take a look at the futures market, we look at the composite profile along with the weekly volume profile levels. Keep in mind, my eyes are locked and loaded over here on this price point of 43.29. The reason for it is last week we closed below value area low. On Sunday, we opened below that price point, which means we have not come back to test that level yet. It's highly probable that either this week or next week, we come back and test that price point. Now we've been able to get above some of these volume, these critical volume levels. However, to the upside, we have, we can play off the weekly distribution levels as well, which, you know, the first one is really just right around today's high, just slightly over it at 42.94.50. The next one is up here at about 43.06. Then we're looking all the way up here to 43.29. And like I said, all runners are, to the long side will be trying to target up in that location. However, to the downside, if we start getting downside action, well, we want to look at 42.45. Then we want to look at 42.32 beyond that price point. Keep in mind, we have another point of control down here at 4,068. So again, that is much lower, but at some point we could flush there. However, before we get to that, we have 41.17 that could be in play as well. Now, coming over and look at the daily volume profile levels. Keep in mind, we have an ABC pattern in play up here to about 43.05. Now, keep in mind the weekly... One of the weekly volume profile levels I talked about was just moments ago was what? 4306. So again, that level could come into play sooner than later. And we really need to get some, some push up and out of this area if indeed this is going to play out. Also, we take a look at the volume profile levels. 4277.75 will be value area high. The point of control will be down here at 4271 and a quarter. And value area low is going to be down here at 4259.75. So what am I expecting? Well, it's very simple. If we are trading above value area high, I'm going to be looking to target 4305. Then I'm going to look to target 4323, which is that untested value area low. Then I'm going to be looking to, to target the value area low off of the weekly volume profile. However, if we break value area low, I'm going to be looking for sell side trades. If we break above value area high and we come back lower, I'm also going to want to be on the sell side of the market. Now, if we start drifting lower, that is where the other volume profile levels are going to come into play over here on the composite, meaning the point of control and then this other high volume node right over here. Now, one thing to note, if you guys are watching this video and say, Mike, where in the world are the overnight volume profile levels? 
come right over here to the page, go to the community tab. And I'm going to have them posted like I did last week when I wasn't here trading in the morning. They'll be posted right up here. It'll be easy to see S&P levels. If you go down and you read more, I'll have the NASDAQ volume profile levels as well. So make sure you go over to the community tab. And if you guys like to see the volume profile settings that I'm using for TradingView, watch this video right here.